they predicated the same uh, study and they looked in Italy. Exactly the same finding. And they published this. And they said in their study, and this is what really uh, amazed me, they said, the fact, if this is causal, they say, they said that um, this might actually show a possible public health intervention. The fact that it is completely independent of vitamin D means that there's something else going on. There was uh, a study in 2011 in Sweden? Yes. Is that linked to this? No, this is a completely different study, but that, that's also a very important study. So the Swedish study is, is, is groundbreaking. Um, this was a study where they asked 20, 000, 20 to 30,000 Swedish women about their habits in sunlight. And they divided these women into three categories. Those women that did not get a lot of sun, those that got a moderate amount of sun, and those that got a lot of sun. And they followed them for 20 years. And they, they kept a track of each one that died and what they died of. And when they were done with that, they were astonished because what they found was that the women who had spent most, spent the large amount of their time outside or that spent the most amount of time outside had the least amount of mortality from cancer, from cardiovascular disease, and non-cardiovascular disease. And those that spent the least amount of time outside had the highest levels of that. 